and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation, and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Hello everyone, and welcome once again to By the Word of Their Testimony, where our theme scripture is Revelation 12 verse 11, which says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. We haven't recorded a video in a little while, so we're going to bring you up to date. We have a whole lot to share with you that God has done and blessed us through, or how he's blessed us through these days. So we're going to break this down into four sections. The first section is going to be an update on how we went from our prayer and praise video to preparing to leave. Then the second video would be what is entitled the airport. The third video would be about a Sabbath service after the airport and prayer meeting. And then the fourth video would be the Sunday afterwards unto the present. So these are four videos. And right now we're going to jump right into the first one, the preparation to go. Anything you'd like to say? What was your on your mind about, I think, packing? Yes, for me... I was so excited, I just wanted to know when do I pack, so when the Lord says, up and go, I can go. And I had started to pack that Monday, but just couldn't seem to go get anywhere with the packing. And so I just rested down, recognizing that God wasn't leading me that day to pack. But certainly, by Tuesday morning, after my husband and I had our devotion, we were kneeling down to pray, my husband prayed, Lord, help us to pack today. So I was excited, like, yes, I can pack today. And so I went ahead and I started packing that Tuesday. Uh, and then I think there was also a, a sunlight. Was that a confirmation or encouragement for you? Or was it sunlight information? Oh, uh, yes. After having packed and going through our sunlight devotional for that Thursday, we kind of skipped ahead and read it that Wednesday. Looking at it to get the confirmation as to Lord, where do we go? And it was on the story of the Egyptians going through the Red Sea. Israelites. The Israelites, forgive me, going through the Red Sea. That the title in sunlight that Thursday was go forward. And so we were like, okay, this is the day that the Lord wants us to go forward. And so we continue to get ready. And on Thursday, plan to head to the airport. And if you remember in our previous video, we said that when we spoke to the associate director, so Nolan Edwards, he spoke about our financial situation, and he said for them to, when he prayed, he said for us to go forward. So we call that our confirmation that it came to say go forward on Thursday and tying in with the going to me. Then my confirmation came the, I think, Wednesday morning. My reading was from Deuteronomy chapter 1. And we know the story. It is now Moses recalling to the Israelites as they're preparing to once again go back. At least they're at the border of Canaan. They're preparing to cross over. That Moses is retelling them of the past. And what stuck out to me was verse 8. And verse 8 said, Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So I got this confirmation, go into the land. Then verse, I think verse 21. Then it says, Behold the, la Behold the Lord thy God hath set the land before thee. Go up and possess it, as the Lord God of thy fathers had said unto thee. So I went through this and there was more that stuck out. For instance, it said how in verse 29 through 31, the Lord encouraged the Israelites who are now 
heard the word from the twelve spies, and they started to fear. And it says in 29, Then I said unto you, Dread not, neither be afraid of them. This was Moses. The Lord your God, which goeth before you, he shall fight for you according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. Then 31, And in the wilderness, where thou hast seen how the Lord thy God bare thee, as a man that bare his son in all the way that he went, until he came unto this place. And when I read wilderness, it made us think of country living, how we had lived in the country, and how God provided to get us to the country, he took care of us in the country. So like, if God took care of the Israelites in the wilderness and got them to the land, he took care of me in country living, he can get me to meet ministry. Then what also stuck out was, then it says that, 32, the people did not believe God. And so God said, because of this, their wickedness, that none of these men, the men of war, would go into the land. And so that was really a confirmation for me, saying that when God called you like Thursday, go forward. It is not time to doubt God, to question God, because you know what happened. We know what happened, that when they doubted, God said they wouldn't go into the land. Then they tried to take the land, but God told them that he was not with them. And they suffered a great defeat. And it came to me that... If God is calling us to go into, to get to meet, we don't have the funds, but he's calling us to get to there. We can't now distrust or disbelieve God because the time will then come that it's too late. God has already given up on us because we're not trusting him on the day he called us to go forward. So that was our confirmation to then pack, to go to the airport with no money, and God would take care of that for us. Well, we um, certainly did have some funds there. The Lord sent an angel. Mm -hmm. And who blessed us with a hundred dollars that night and before we went and prayed with us and so that was quite encouraging that yes we we can go forward God is going to provide us as we go on the way. All right, that was a Tuesday night. Then anything from Wednesday? From Wednesday, it was basically some family member. Wednesday was prayer meeting. We went to prayer meeting on Wednesday night. So you think you remember what happened at prayer meeting on Wednesday? We told the persons to go to uh, pray for us. But most importantly, the message really stood out. It says that it was Beatitudes of a Christian. Mm -hmm. And one of the Beatitudes were accountability that mm -hmm. stood out. And more important to adaptability for me that I had to become all things um, to men so that I can win some. What started for you, hon? Um, what started for me was, and you'll see later on in, in the next presentation, that it said to be stewards. Mm -hmm. And that was a stick that we have to be accountable, like accountable, but we have to be stewards and proper with the things that God has given us, including our tithes and offering. So that was Wednesday night. Anything else we missed in the preparation? All right, so that was Wednesday night, and then Thursday morning, we had the devotion Maranatha. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming, and what what happened Thursday morning? Um, as usual, we got up, had our devotion um, from our book, the Maranatha, and the Lord gave a message in that. and said, the vision is short. Well. Yes, but what happened on that, the reading for Thursday, February the 26th, mm -hmm. was through Heaven's yes, Gate, yes. which pointed to Enoch yes. going in through the Promised Land, uh, to Canaan, you know, the beautiful Canaan Heaven. But then, you know, we cheat sometimes, and we flip the page over, and we saw <laughs> for Friday, the vision is sure. And so, we saw that, okay, it's Thursday morning, and Friday says the vision is sure, so my mind was saying to me that this morning as we're preparing to go Thursday to the airport, that God is saying that we will get to Tennessee Friday. Because now I remember, we were discussing when would we try to get to Tennessee. Would it be the following Sunday or for that Thursday? And I said, when I flipped to Friday, I said, the vision is sure on Friday. And I said, we would claim the promise we would be in Tennessee Friday. And so we had quickly, we, looked, we were looking at this point about the different prices for the um, plane tickets, whether it's boat tickets, I mean bus tickets, all the fares to get between Nassau to Florida, from Florida to Tennessee. But we claim that God would get us to Tennessee by Friday because it says the vision is sure, which Tania had said previously, I think Habakkuk 2 verse 3, that the vision would tarry 
At the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it. It shall surely come. And once again, this scripture came back to us several times during this process. Alright, so we prepared, we packed up anything else about the preparing to go. Alright, we prepared, we packed up, and we headed to the airport. We claimed God's promises, kept a prayerful mind, a prayerful heart, and we headed to the airport. Yes, and we thought that we weren't going to get to the airport because there seemed to be an obstacle. We had asked um, for a ride, and it was like, no, that way isn't getting clear, but God even provided for a ride. Arrive for us to get to the airport to make sure to let us know that his vision is sure and that he was leading. All right. Yes, God worked out even the transportation to the airport for Thursday. And so that is the first part of the presentation. So I want you, we want you to keep listening and see what happens next. But as we pause here, we like to say once again, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. God bless.